It's your boy J Thousand Black Manga Nation, man. Another, another, another video, man. What the fuck is going on here, man? They killing motherfuckers with mental health illnesses. Shoot motherfuckers in the chest. And now, I mean, six adults. You got six adults, and a few of these motherfuckers was big, like you know them bouncers that be at the fucking uh, club and shit. Them big, big ass motherfuckers that you do not want to fuck with. These niggas done killed this little young boy, 16 years old, man. And I understand the young boy's completely wrong for throwing two sandwiches and shit. He, he was completely wrong and shit. Suspend that young man. Give him detention, counseling. Talk to this man. I mean, talk to this young man. You know, obviously something is, is going on in his life, you know, that's fucked up. Uh, I believe he was at a group home especially. So you know the motherfucker. You know, them, yeah. just, uh, just watch this shit, man. This shit just is so a fucking set. You killing kids over a fucking sandwich. All of them should go to fucking jail for murder. Fucking death penalty, man. What the fuck? Company we've investigated before for past violations. We want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see is disturbing. Here's Kate Snow. You're looking at video of 16-year-old Cornelius Frederick having lunch at Lakeside Academy, a home for at-risk youth in Kalamazoo, Michigan. There's no audio, but Cornelius is seen throwing food. Two staff members intervene, but when Cornelius throws another item, he's pushed down. Two men become three, then six on top of him. After at least 10 minutes of restraint, Cornelius is lifted up limp. Look, and then is watch what happens. Staff members, including a nurse, stand around for another 12 minutes. Then the nurse calls 911. Two days later, Cornelius was dead. Throwing a sandwich? You don't suffocate children for throwing a sandwich. That's murder. As you view the video, what do you see? I see the killing of a child for no reason whatsoever. I Attorney see Jeffrey Figer is representing Cornelius's family, suing the for-profit company that operated Lakeside and dozens like it nationwide, called Sequel Youth and Family Services. This was a regular occurrence. They instilled fear in children. Cornelius wanted to be a... Sometimes acting out? Yes. The police report shows Cornelius had been physically restrained at Lakeside 10 times before, once in January for 36 minutes. And NBC News found records showing since 2018, Michigan substantiated 56 violations at Lakeside, including multiple instances of inappropriate physical restraints. Three former employees have been charged with manslaughter and child abuse in Cornelius's death, all pleading not. Does your client think that what they did in that room was what they were trained to do, that they did it properly? My client thinks what he did was absolutely proper. Donald Sopanos, the defense attorney for Zachary's Look Sopanos, how big this motherfucker is. Given just two Look. hours of training on using restraints. You know, so that, that's what I got to say, man. Look at this big motherfucker. It do not take six, him and six other motherfuckers to restrain a kid. You shouldn't be restraining him at all, man. Come on, you got to grab him by his arm and shit. It's, what the fuck was you going to do, fight your back? Look how big you is. Nigga, what, was, what, was, what was the kid going to do, throw a punch at you? What was he going to do? Come the fuck on now, man. All y'all get the fucking death penalty. All oh, 60 y'all. I only saw three. Man, that's not even, th you know, like, comment, subscribe, but don't actually, like, like the video and shit, because this is horrible, man. Stay corona-free, bitches. Protect your kids, man, and... Oh, fucking God, man. Just be safe out there, family. Be safe.